Welcome to another video. Today we're doing clean Twitter banner. Uh, this is clean Twitter banner and yeah, go file, go new and go with 1500 and height 500. This is Twitter banner or Twitter header dimensions. Uh, you can only go with these dimensions here. So click OK and OK. Right now click on this left click. So we unlock the layer and we zoom with Alt and scroll like that. Basically we're going to make two rectangles. Click on rectangle tool, drag it with the left click hold and again we don't want this color so we're going to go here and we're going to pick this color here gray I like this color and right now go to the another rectangle above that not really in the middle kind of go to the left side not really centered and go fill and go white like that right now go on this white uh, rectangle control T go up here left click and now hold shift hold left click and drag it down like that play around you can also do it like that you can do it like that however you want it so again on the same on the second side like that okay so right now we have these two colors right now we need pictures so I'm going to drag from my uh, folder you can also drag yours however you want but I can also link these pictures if you want if you want it, comment down below and I will link the picture. So I will drag and drop first one. I will resize it, enlarge it like that. And I will center it like that. Click OK. And I will drag it down on the second layer so it fits like this. OK. Uh, OK, so uh, I'm going to Control A on this picture. Go to the image adjustments, black and white. Click OK go to here left click and go to overlay and now make opacity about 40 percent you can play around however you want and i will group these two so click on left click on this picture and hold shift and click on rectangle and control g and this is group this is right side and okay so we're going to go with white rectangle go again here drop this crisp image of mountains and right now go hold alt and left click when you see this icon and this will create a clipping mask right now go here and set opacity of this picture to 12 percent you can also go about 14 i'll go 14 so it's kind of visible and i will do the same uh, left click and uh, click sh hold shift and left click on the rectangle control G and we have left side okay right now we need to add as you can see this is the uh, final product we need to add text and uh, icons so how we're going to do this we're going to drag again preview icons here and I'm going to just uh, select icons that I want you can also select uh, I will actually leave you this uh, down below so you can check that out uh, I will select with this here so this is rectangular marquee tool click left click hold it and drag it like that uh, control C control V and delete down here delete this layer so we have right now this layer here we're going to center it like that go right click on it blending options color overlay and go here and make it gray grayish something like this color you can also go right click blending options color overlay and you can drop this here and like that so basically okay we have now this now what font we're going to use the font we're going to use is going to be nexa bold it's currently my favorite font and we're going to make it again this color here and we're going to type uh, you can type in your name uh, like that I will actually uh, yeah uh, how you can do this is you can actually control a and alt click hold alt and uh, with arrow keys go to the right side and you will actually do uh, it will do this effect of kind of 
pulling out the the font and that's really cool effect so you can again control g this and we have center like that this is the left side as you can see right here uh, the right side is going to be just your name and welcome to my channel and you can actually go here symmetrix official we can go and drop this we need that uh, caps lock font actually yeah like that and you can do the same I mean you can do the same for this but on this font we're going to do like that actually a little bit down if you want to go like to the left you go to the left arrow alt and left arrow if you want to go to the right as you can see like that you go right so we're going to do like this now we're going to select official and go here and type in next bold next light regular so this will go light uh, as you can see nexa is a font that has both both bold and white and light uh fonts so you can choose between light or bold uh, i combine these two and it looks really crisp uh, type in welcome to my channel and again control a uh, hold alt and go to the right arrow key and just tap it in uh, you can go about this and I will go to the next bold you can also go light I mean it's your choice here again and yes you can do it like that let me just see and I think this is it yeah now we're going to control G group it all and center it like that this is center and now we need to add my uh, logo here and I will add my logo you can add yours lo yours as well I mean this is really cool thing and I will about right here and so it needs to be under all those layers actually under the this left side layer and now uh, go to the opacity and go to about 5% you can also go th 2 to 3%. I really like 2 or 3%. Yeah, it looks cool. So this is basically banner Twitter, clean Twitter header. If you want more of these designs, I can show you more. Uh, I'm not really skilled as much as I used to be before. I really worked on these skills much more. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I can leave you this template down below. If we can reach about five likes and yeah guys thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one bye bye